Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you five awesome features in Windows 11. Now, we all know that Windows 11 has a lot of new functionality, but these features are at the top of my list. All right, let's jump on the PC and let's check these out. This brings us to awesome feature number one, and that's Windows dictation with auto punctuation. In the past on Windows 10, you could dictate, but it didn't include punctuation. Here I have a notepad file open, and to open up Windows Dictate, I'll press the Windows key together with the H key, H as in hotel. And this opens up the Dictate tool right down below. Here if I click on the settings gear, here I can see all of the different settings, and there's now a new option for auto punctuation. I'll make sure to turn that on. Now when I click into this text field, I can click on the microphone and it'll start listening. Have you ever tried a cookie from the Kevin Cookie Company? They are the best cookies in the world. And check that out, it adds all of the correct punctuation. Here it put a question mark in and here it inserted a period. So the dictation tool has become much more useful in Windows 11. This brings us to awesome feature number two. You can now set up multiple desktops and you can customize what those desktops look like. On the taskbar, there's an icon to view all of your desktops. And when I click on this, I can see that I currently have one desktop. When I click on the plus icon, this will add another desktop. Over here, I can right click on it and now I can customize it. This is something that I could not do on Windows 10. Here I could click on rename and maybe I'll call this one play. And just for the fun of it, I'll press the Windows key together with the semicolon key and I can insert an emoji. Here I'll go with a robot since that's what my voice sounds like. Here when I right click on it, I can also choose a custom background for this desktop. Let me go with this light background. I could also shift the position of my different desktops. I could right click and here I can move it to the left or I can move it back to the right. I could also simply click on it and drag it to the position that I want. To jump to my various desktops, all I need to do is click on it here and that'll bring me to the other desktop. But what's even faster, I can simply use shortcut keys. I can press the control key together with the windows key and my arrow keys and then I can navigate between all of my desktops. Overall, multiple desktops have gotten a lot better in Windows 11, but it's still missing some key functionality. You can't currently customize the apps that appear on the taskbar across your different desktops and you can't currently take one of your desktops and put it on one monitor and another desktop and place it on a different monitor. This brings us to awesome feature number three. And no, it's not my new website, kevinstratford.com right over here. Although I would say that is a pretty awesome website. In Windows 11, you're now able to take snapping to the next level. And I could always snap in Windows 10. Here I could simply take a window, drag it over to the side and I could snap it into that position. But now, along with being able to simply drag it over to the edges, here I could hover over the maximize icon and I get these nice snapping hints. So maybe I'll place this in the top right hand corner. And right down here, I'll place this in the bottom right hand corner. So I have a little bit more flexibility now. If you really want to take snapping to the next level, Microsoft offers a free tool called Power Toys. And this is available on both Windows 10 and also on Windows 11. And you can do so much beyond what you can do in Windows 11. Here, for example, I have Power Toys open. And over on the left hand side, there's something called Fancy Zones. Think of this as very advanced snapping. Over here, I can launch a layout editor and I can choose exactly what I want my different snap zones to look like. And if I'm not satisfied with any of these options, I could also create my own layout. So here, let's go with a grid and I'll click on create. If you look at this, I could select exactly what my snapping grid looks like. So once again, you get a ton of power around snapping. Along with snapping, you get all of these other awesome tools. And once again, it's completely free to download and install. If you're interested in Power Toys, I've included a link in the description down below. Awesome feature number four, and this one's related to snapping. Once I take the time to snap all of these different windows on my screen, I don't wanna have to go through all of that again. Luckily, there's now something called Snap Groups. Now, if you remember, I had three different browser windows that I had snapped to my screen. I can go down to my taskbar and they were Chrome windows. 
Here I can see each one of the individual windows and I now also see the entire group. So here when I click on the group, that'll restore the entire group back onto my screen. This brings us to the last awesome feature of today, and that's the inclusion of widgets in Windows 11. It's a little bit of a flashback to Windows 7. Right down on the taskbar, I can click on the widget icon, and here I get a whole bunch of helpful information. Here, for example, I could see all of my tasks. Hey, it says film a video. Well, I'm doing that, so let me check that item. Over here, I could see the weather, the calendar, traffic information, photos, I get all of this information, and I could also customize what these look like. When I click on the ellipsis, I could set it to small, medium, large, and I could even customize it with the weather, for example, I could set my location. Here I'll click on cancel. Here I could also reorder all the different widgets so it appears how I like it. And if I go down right at the bottom, I could also add additional widgets. And here you can see all of the different widgets that are available. And my guess is over time, you'll see more widgets join this list. Down below, you'll also see some of the top news headlines. Before we wrap up, I wanna leave you with one bonus awesome feature. And to be fair, this isn't new to Windows 11, but it's really not that well known. And it's the secret start menu. Down on the taskbar, I have my typical start menu. I click on it with my left mouse and that opens up. But instead of left clicking on it, I can right click on it and that opens up that secret start menu. Right up on top, I have some settings and I could jump directly to them. And down below, I could also open up the task manager and I have a few other settings as well. So it's just a handy thing if you need to quickly jump to any of these settings. Let me know down below in the comments, would you add any other features to this awesome feature list? To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.